moment that most of us have been waiting for for one year. It's the glamour division, the heavyweights. Now let's meet the boxers. Uh, my name is Joe Thomas. I'm from Trooper, Pennsylvania, and I'm fighting in the finals of the heavyweight class in the Golden Globe competition. My name is Michael Arms. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'll be fighting for the 1981 National Golden Glass Heavyweight Championship. One of the most interesting contrasts in sizes physically and in styles, Big Joe Thomas out of Norristown, Pennsylvania, against Michael Arms. Five inches shorter, 40 pounds lighter, but determined nonetheless. Arms the defending champion. Thomas wants his title. We're about to see what happens. This is it, the heavyweight championship of the Golden Gloves 54th edition, 1981. You have met the boxers, Joe Thomas, in the red shorts with the white vest, and the defending champion, Michael Arms, in the white shorts and the red vest, and Arms beat Thomas in Shreveport last year to win the title. Raleigh, let's first of all analyze the two young men. Well, first of all, Joe Thomas, I've noticed in his earlier bouts, has really improved. Where he improved most is his defense. He's carrying his hands high, his elbow is in tight. These are not just heavyweights, these are super heavyweights. Anybody over 200 pounds now is considered a super heavyweight. Thomas at six foot four, 240 pounds, getting blocked by that has to be something else. And the gully destroyer, Michael Arms, look at the arms on that man. He's built like a black and he loves to dig to the body. Michael Arms having defeated Joe Thomas when he was raw, extremely young in Shreveport a year ago. But Thomas has been waiting a long time for this rematch. He's matured greatly in the past year. Although, Raleigh, we should point out, despite his mammoth size, at 6'5", about 245, he is not really a knockout puncher. He's got a lot of style. He may win this bout, but probably, if he does, he'll win it on points. All right, now he's got a trip hammer left jab. We know that. A right hand, but he's added to his repertoire an inside uppercut. Look for that. Arms, on the other hand, likes to hook to the body and to the head, and I've seen him knock him dead with one hook to the body. We're halfway through round number one. This is the bout that everybody has waited for. Michael Arms, last year, when he won the championship, took the baby from the arms of his wife and paraded it around the ring, and he'll have a chance to do it again this year because you see inserted in your picture his wife and baby at ringside again. Michael Arms, hoping to have the opportunity to parade his baby proudly around the ring if he should win the championship again. A minute to go in the first round. Thomas, like many of the big heavyweights, like Primo Panera, did not particularly possess a power punch, but he'll hurt you. He'll stun you just from the sheer weight of his blows. Here's that uppercut I was talking about, and that hurts. that these two huge men are simply uh, trying to figure each other's style and strategy out here in round number one. They only go three rounds, nine minutes of boxing. Thomas now a little more aggressive. Good flurry of punches, a left hook followed by a right, and Arms disdainfully looks at him. Ten seconds to go on the round. the bell in round number two but just a few seconds ago between rounds Joe Thomas was given these instructions by his coach. You're giving him a little bit too much here. You see how effective your jab is? And did you see me with the right hand uppercut? That's fine. Yeah, come, Joe. You're doing fine now. Remember, don't fire the right hand unless you come back with the hook. Did you hear me? Come back with the hook. Now a little bit more busier behind the left jab. Well, the coach seemed rather emphatic about his instructions, Raleigh. Does that sound like uh, sound reasoning? Definitely excellent instruction because when you throw the right hand and come back with the hook, you also defend yourself against the right hand. Thomas now starting to bleed from the nose a bit. It's a good left jab of uh, Michael Arms has started the flow of blood. Thomas seems to be somewhat in command of this bout. We've talked about the weight advantage, Raleigh. Thomas, 40 pounds heavier. He's also got six inches in height. 
And he's snapping that jab in for a big man. He's got a magnificent jab. Look at him snap it in. Now, these are points he's building up. Take that in consideration. Every one of those jabs that land are points landed, and he's building up a good total there. Arms has to go for the big one, the whole run. We're approaching the midway point here in round number two, which would be the midway point in the bout. They'll go three rounds, and Thomas now with a good combination, and Arms snaps back with a left jab. Arms trying to slip that jab, but he's catching most of them, and Thomas is scoring with them. But Arms is going to shoot to the body, look for it, and be Lance, it's going to be curtains. See how we try to get in there low? Thomas quickly hit a jab and kept him off balance. And again, it's true you see the wife and child of Michael Arms, the defending champion, hoping to have an opportunity to celebrate. But right now, Thomas is giving Arms all he can handle, and I would think a little bit more. Another good left jab by Arms, and Thomas just keeping the left hand in his face. There's that uppercut I told you about. That's what he didn't have last year, and it's effective. Yeah, he's got a minute and a half in which to survive. Arms knows that his time. 
the anticlimactic 6,500 people are on their feet here in Toledo. An amazing finish to an outstanding confrontation between Arms and Thomas. Let's look at it again. Here's where the tide changed, where Arms came on with a big overhand right. The big trouble with Arms is the fact that he was following up Thomas dropping his left hand and getting nailed with a combination of punches. You've got to snap that jab. Look how that jab continually drops. Thomas right now very tired. And now to the ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner at 1981 National Golden Gloves heavyweight champion from Pennsylvania, Joe Thomas. Ah, and so Joe Thomas came here seeking revenge for a loss he suffered last year and revenge is his. Well, our Golden Gloves Association Tournament of Champions is history. The 54th annual from the Toledo...